Welcome Seekers, you have made it to the Tarot Magician's channel. My name is Ricardo Gallart, and today I bring you another Pick A Card Tarot reading. And in this Pick A Card, we're going to be talking about a message. This is a message that is meant for you right now. Okay, so message meant for, meant for you right now. So I'm going to connect with spirit and see what needs to be said to you. Uh, you know, maybe what's coming just inside. I'm going to give you as much detail as possible. Now, before, 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 before we get started, I want to remind you seekers to subscribe. I have many more pick a card videos coming very soon. So subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the Etsy shop. Um, the link is down below. I have private readings there. Um, you know, a, a lot of terrorists aren't offering to, uh, private readings. I am. And um, I've worked with hundreds. Uh, the demand has truly been incredible. Um, I love it. I truly love working with you one-on-one. -on -one. The feedback has been great. Check out the feedback in that Etsy shop. Uh, only five-star reviews so far. Prices are below market value. And I've added a few um, a few options as far as private readings go. So check out the, the Etsy shop. You will not be disappointed. I'm looking forward to working with you seekers. So go. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So seekers, in front of you, you have four groups. You have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. I want you to take a moment and select, pick one of these groups, whichever group calls to you most, whichever stone calls your attention most. I want you to take a moment, select, if multiple groups call your attention, I want you to view mo those groups. Uh, you know, if two or three, even four, if all of them call your attention, then there's definitely a message in every single one of them. So pick the groups. The first one that calls out to you, uh, go there first. The link, or I'm sorry, the, the timestamps are going to be in the description below so that you can fast forward easier. Welcome, group number one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a message for you right now. Let's go ahead and see what it is. We'll start with the first card. This is from the Angels Tarot deck. Interesting. You've got the Six of Cups, group number one. What I'm doing now is I'm shuffling because I want to throw more cards to put around this one just to get a better understanding of what the message is. This is from the the Angels Tarot deck. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. All right. Group number one. Um, there's a situation that needs to be addressed in in your energy levels in your home. Uh, so what I'm seeing here, you ha you have the Ace of Wands reversed, you have the Four of Wands reversed. There's a very strong feeling here, all right, of, of you not having energy, not feeling motivated, not wanting to move forward, um, perhaps feeling uh, let down by a certain something. Uh, so there's definitely an aspect of you that feels a bit down uh, um maybe you've received some bad news and that bad news has really got you down and you don't want to face it um this has to do with your home you know you have the four of wands here uh that is home life and then you have the ace of wands that's that fire that's that um energy of i can do anything i can move forward um the fact that we have the six of cups tells me that whatever is going on at home will be resolved Okay, so there will be a resolution to this. You don't have to fret. You don't have to lose hope. You don't have to feel down, upset. There will be a solution to this problem. Um, you know, there is going to be still a little bit of heartache. You, you, you do have the Five of Cups energy here. The process to healing is accepting the fact that it, something went wrong in, in the family nucleus um, and understanding that there is going to be structure that's going to come out of this. So the key point here is the emperor. This is the major arcana of this reading. 
So whatever structure was broken or was uh, brought down or, or or just made ineffective, it will start working again. There's some some new structure is going to take its place. Um, I see here renewed relationships. I see here a, a new path forward. Um, I see here that um, that things will work out. But you know. I don't want to underscore this. There is a little bit of suffering, a little bit of pain that you must go through in order to get through this and, and go through the other structure, you know, and, and, and life tends to be like that, you know, peaks and valleys, light and dark. Sometimes in order to get to the light, you have to go through a little bit of darkness. Um, but, you know, you will find it. Look at this. You've got some nice cards here. You've got number 11, um, Sovereignty, Excalibur. You know, this is you reaching your potential. This is you reaching a new reality. Action, truth, power, sovereignty. Uh, this is you accomplishing things, uh, things that you've set out to accomplish and do. You also have here a Merlin, uh, my favorite one of the Avalon Oracle cards. Merlin, Equilibrium, Perfection, Magic, Alchemy. Um... So the, the, the end result of this is um, it's a little bit more, it, it's, it's, it's an understanding of who you are. I feel that a lot of the people watching this are going to have different reactions to what's happening at home, in your personal life, the fact that you feel so down and upset. Um, you're going to feel a little down and upset. You're, you feel this way because you're going through a process of transmutation. You're going through a process of transformation. That's why you have the keyword alchemy, equilibrium, magic. Um, and there's also action. So you're definitely in a, in, a, in a period where a lot of things are going on and it's leading to you maybe feeling a bit down, upset, out of the, out of the count, not wanting to move forward. Some of you are depressed, some of you are just very anxious, not, not understanding what in the world is going on. Um, there's an energy here of that, and, and it could it could be for various reasons. You know, I feel that it's relationships. Um, I feel that maybe there are certain relationships, certain people that maybe are affecting you even worse. Um, you know, maybe even the inability to travel, there's a plane passing by. Um, because I live by an airport, but uh, you know, there's an inability to travel, right? And um, the airplane just reminded me of that. There's this for some of you, you want to go out, you want to do more, and you are unable to. Um, there's restrictions, and it makes a lot of sense because we are now unfortunately experiencing more restrictions, so it would make it makes sense that this is going on and that this is the message. Um, there is something that's going to come out of this, okay? It's important for you to, to go through this process to learn a little bit about yourself. Um, let me go ahead and throw some cards. I have these new cards that um, I love. Uh, the Whispering Woods. Let's see what the Whispering Woods have to tell you. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. So the first card out is retreat. Look at this. Spoil yourself in the morning mist. Breathe in nature's sweet scents. Retreat. That's beautiful. So, you know, one of the ways that you get through this situation is to, to go on retreat. Um, exactly what the message is saying. Just enjoy yourself. That's self-care, right? Spoil yourself. And then the second message from this Oracle deck resilience resilience stay strong as evergreen trees that's powerful so you know this card is now kind of cementing what you're going through the darkness that you're going through the inability to to move forward to see things differently you're going through this um and a lot is being it's being expected of you at this moment you're being asked to be resilient to understand why you're going through this, to move forward with, with dynamism, with a sense of responsibility, with a sense of transformation, a sense of I can accomplish anything. You're being asked to take on that role, and um, I feel that you will do it graciously. So let's go ahead and see what message we get from the unicorns. I want to see what else Spirit has to tell you. So this is Spirit Says. What does spirit say what does spirit want you to focus on in this moment in time all right 
you have got two very powerful cards here, group number one. You've got prosperity and compassion, you know, and these cards are definitely uh, something beautiful. Look at this. So prosperity, a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Wow. So this is definitely for some, you know, um, I feel that for some of you, this inactivity, this lackluster feeling, this heartbreak, this 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 downtrodden feeling is going to lead you towards financial prosperity. And this is now something that spirit is confirming for you with the prosperity unicorn card. Now, the second message is compassion. Look at that. Compassion. Uh, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. Wow. So, you know, you're also being challenged a little bit here by spirit, right? You're being asked to be gentle with yourself. So some of you are being very hard on yourself. And you can see it here with the five of cups, the woman that's kind of like, you know, down and upset and depressed and uh, crying over spilled milk. And, and then you see it here with the three of swords, you know, just an energy of heartbrokenness, uh, not being happy, uh, being defeated. The fact that you got compassion, the fact that spirit is telling you to be gentle with yourself, to forgive and set yourself free, and to see the light in yourself and in others, it's it's a it's an understanding that that times are a bit tough for you right now. Some of you are feeling a bit down, but it will get a lot better. Things are going to start manifesting for you. Things are going to start moving in the right direction. You're going to see things differently. And when you do, when things start just coming to you, you're going to realize that what you're going through right now was a necessity for you to get to this level. So don't fret. Don't feel upset. Don't feel down. Things will happen um, and then things will work in your favor. Group number one. Okay. So that is what I see here. Thank you so much, group number one, for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to um, also uh, hit the notification bell. Visit the Etsy shop seekers. I want to work one-on-one -on -one with you. I've worked already with hundreds of seekers. It's been so much fun. This is my calling in life. I, I, this, I've taken so much enjoyment out of it, working one-on-one, -on -one, providing you with the message that Spirit has for you. Uh, prices are pretty, are pretty low. They're below market value. I like it that way. It gives me the opportunity to work with, with many, many people. Um, you know, time has been restricted, but that's fine. Um, a lot of, of good positive feedback so far, only five star reviews. And that has, that has me feeling completely, completely just enthused. Um, you know, that's a lot of reviews I've gotten and they've all been five stars. And not only that, but the feedback in general has been really good. Um, so if you feel that, um, you know, you, you're, you're being kind of called into, or, or a message is being delivered to you. I like to be the Taoist that deciphers it. So go to the Etsy shop, check me out, uh, for the readers. I mean, sorry for the seekers that have already placed your orders. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the ones that have left, you know, uh, uh, donations. Thank you for those donations. They really help a lot. You know, they help with the with, with uh, investing in cards and, and, and just so many other things. So I thank you so much for those donation seekers. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right. So don't forget also to comment below. I want to hear from you seekers as well. What did you think of this video? If there's any pick a card ideas, I love to hear that as well. All right. So I'm looking forward to speaking to you in the comment section. I will I will try and write back um, if you do. Thank you and bye bye. Welcome, group number two. Welcome. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so this this reading is message, a message for you. There is a message for you, okay? And um, this is an urgent message. So let's go ahead and try and decipher what that message is from Spirit. We'll start with the first card. Oh, you've got the Strength card. Let me go ahead and shuffle here from the Angel's Tarot deck and put more cards around this one and see exactly what the message is. Let's see. 
What is it? What is it, spirit, that you want to tell, that you want to say, that you want to speak? What is it? Wow, there is just so many messages here. I think that a lot of you seekers picked this group. So there's a lot of messages. Uh, so buckle up. Let's let's go ahead and um, and see exactly what um, what we can decipher here. There's there's just so many different paths forward here. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. The first one talks about someone who is resilient so there is a lot of you are headed towards this resourceful energy of the queen of pentacles there's uh financial blessings coming your way okay this is you right here a lot of you are tapping into this queen of pentacles energy prosperity resourcefulness moving forward taking charge um just being being of value to society being of value to your friends your colleagues being of value in your job um a lot of you are in this energy right now and the reason why you're there is because of the strength card which is right in the middle you know with this strength card as you can see this uh this woman she's got a snake by the head right and that snake is there was a time when we as humans we didn't like to step out into the forest because that was the biggest problem snakes snakes can come out bite us so we we build up defenses against those snakes that was the fear of stepping out and doing something because that was the chaos that that lurked in the unknown it was snakes so the fact that this strength card this this woman is walking into this forest and she's got that snake by the throat and she's got a lion with her by her side tells me that um a lot of you have 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 vanquished a fear or you're in the process of vanquishing that fear or you will vanquish a fear you will overcome something that will lead you to this prosperity all right um the warning here is and this is where we kind of start talking about other storylines and other people there for some of you there is this attachment to something which is very bad it's not a good attachment okay you've got the devil card and the devil card, typically, it's a very carnal, you know, fun card. It's It talks about um, bondage. But uh, the fact that it's reversed tells, a, 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 it speaks of a grimmer picture. Now we have addictions. Now we have dependency on something. Now we have toxic, um, even a toxic relationship. Uh, we have, um, yeah, addictions, you know. So... There is definitely something that has some of you bound, 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 and it's hard for you to let loose. It's, it's hard for you to shake free from this. It's hard for you to, to, to be released from it. Um, it's important for you to be free from this, okay? And, and I know it, this is only for a small portion of you that pick this group. But um, it's important for you to do it. This can be, and you know, it can be too much alcohol. It can be too much, um, you know, uh, drugs. It, it can be a variety of things. It can just be you um, deciding to speak ill of other people behind their backs, you know, uh, just because that's your way of letting out aggression. You know, there's tendencies that tend to come with the devil that, may, that tarnish your image and keep you down. It keeps you in a low vibration. So what this message is saying for a small portion of you is to rid yourself of these attachments. Now, getting back to the Queen of Pentacles, you're headed towards a very prosperous time. And what this prosperous time is going to do for you is it's going to allow you to travel, see the world, expand your horizon. So you've got the Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords, uh, this is the, the energy of the travelers. This is the energy of saying, hey, I want to go over there and let's go. Let's all go. Let's all have that fun, right? Um, it's going to happen for a lot of you. You know, you are under this energy of prosperity. Um, which is probably not a it's not a coincidence that you picked the green stone. Um, I feel that there you're you're a lot of you are in that green energy. You know you're going to start seeing money come in value. Um, the fact that you have the nine of wands here tells me that you've been through some hard times. Okay, and and hard times what they tend to do is they tend to build character. 
And that is exactly what has happened here, which is why you have the Strength card and you have the Queen of Pentacles. So you've been working, you've been suffering, okay? You've been hit hard, you've been um, taken through the ringer. There's fear that you've had to go through. There's uh, an energy of being upset. There's an energy of things not working out in your favor, an energy of just everything just, you know, kind of falling apart. An energy of lack is, is truly prevalent here okay this energy is is the type of energy that consumes you that that keeps you kind of in this low mood not being able to expand to move forward to do things differently a lot of you have been there for a while and it's led you towards this strength energy it's led you to be able to learn more it's led you to be able to see things differently which is why i said at the beginning you're going to vanquish a fear you're going to get over a hurdle something that's been blocking your way that you just wish would disappear it will disappear and you're going to reach this queen of pentacles energy here which says fruitfulness it says prosperity it says value added you're for for some of you the one of the only issues that i see here the only the only problems that i see here is this attachment okay and the fact that you have now here the star reversed does not bode well. It's not a good omen. So it's important for you to release yourself of this. This is this this star is spirit telling you that if you keep on with the attachment, there's really nothing that that spirit can do for you. You have to let you've come and you've come to kind of a crossroads here. You've got to let go of this attachment that you know it's bad for you. If you're iffy about it, if you're like, eh, I don't know, it's not, I mean, yeah, I do that, I, maybe I drink or I do this, but it's not that bad, I do it for fun, then that's fine. This is for the people, again, this is a general reading, okay, take what resonates. This is for the people that know that they have to let go of something. This could be toxic relationships, this could be, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, just attachment to certain things, attachment to certain philosophies even. Um, there's an attachment that needs to be cut, that needs to be let loose it needs to be eradicated um, so that you can prosper and move towards something new a new reality new understanding new ways of thinking um, so let's go ahead and throw more cards let's see what the avalons say let's see where you're kind of headed um, maybe we can get a little more insight or keywords as to what is right around the corner for you all right so you've got lancelot as your first card look at that and the key words that are attached to Lancelot are devotion, romance, chivalry, and heroism. Wow. And the fact that you have Lancelot with all of those key words on this side right here, the devil reverse and the star reverse that are talking about letting go of a very horrible um, attachment. The fact that you have heroism here tells me that you letting go of this that you know you should let go of would be one of your greatest accomplishments in life. It will be one of your greatest accomplishments. You know, for some of you, for, for another very small portion of you, it's the fact that you have to move. You, you've you outstayed your welcome where you're living at and the people that you're with, and now it's time to go. And it's only going to better you. It's only going to make, it's only going to increase you. All right. And, and there is a heroism with that. There is, there is, um, you might even be able to, to, to step into some kind of romantic energy, romantic relationship. So for some of you, there is, um, a sense of finding a partner. If you're able to let go of this attachment, that's not good for you. That's not serving you anymore. Um, and that devotion, you know, right now your devotion is to this attachment. Your devotion will shift and you're going to be able to find a romantic partner. So there is that, um, you also have here another card that talks about creativity, inspiration, rebirth, and transformation. Wow. That's talking about that darkness that you're in right now. For some of you, um, you are going to reach this energy of, of just transformation, creativity, inspiration, rebirth. Uh, it's also cementing the fact that a lot of you, most of the people that watch this, that pick this, is because you are prosperous financially you're headed towards a path of financial prosperity some of you are there now but um it's going to lead you to create more you're going to want to invest your time and energies in doing something different um you're going to travel more you're going to see the world more you're going to be able to to, to get new things and, and obtain new things and and 
there is definitely going to be something beautiful. Um, it also talks about rebirth, um, which with that rebirth comes uh, a rebirth from the darkness that, that you're in. I believe I already said that. Um, but yeah, there's just this strong, strong indication here of, of just moving forward and being victorious, um, you know, and overcoming this darkness here. Now, I want to throw some more cards. I want to throw uh, two of these. These are my new Oracle cards. I am going to throw two and see what the messages are. Maybe something that you can focus on. All right, you have got music. Look at that, music. There is a melody to be heard in the deepest parts of the woods if only we listen. Wow. Okay. Immediately when I read that, I felt that a lot of you were a bit upset that, that I said about attachments and about letting go. And um, it's okay. You know, I, I this take, please take what resonates. Obviously, this isn't for everyone. This is a general reading, and a lot of people are watching this. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then the message is not for you. Obviously, there's a lot of positive things to be said about this Queen of Pentacles here. But for the people who know that they need to let go of something, who know that there's something holding you back, um, and you know what it is, you know, the cards are telling you, please don't be upset. There is definitely something more that you're going to be able to reap if you are able to just release this. You know, this this thing that has you tied, this is like, it's bogging you, it's like keeping you down. It's keeping you, um, you know, ensnared in the traps of this giant python, right? And the python will never let you progress. It will never let you go forward in any way. So it's important for you to, to, to listen to the music. The music is God. The music is spirit. The music is this powerful, beautiful thing that we call the universe, kind of nudging at you and trying to give you a message and telling you, hey, let go of that. Let go of the, those relationships. Let go of that addiction. Let go of all of that um, attachment that you have and, and do this. Listen to the beauty of, 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 of what, you know, what else can happen. And it will happen for you. The next message is hope. Hope, hope, hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. Wow. Now, the fact that this is on the side of the Queen of Pentacles, it leads me now towards something else. A lot of you, some of you, are going to come across an idea. So the, the, the financial prosperity that I'm seeing here, the financial success that I'm kind of picking up on with the Queen of Pentacles, the Strength card, it's coming because of an idea that you have, all right? So there's definitely something that you're gonna bring into existence. There's um, an energy surrounding you and your entrepreneurship journey that is kind of telling you, hey, if you can do that, you're gonna be great, hey, you're going to be awesome in this if you're able to follow through on what you thought about or for any of you that has an idea that you think will work and it's business related go ahead and try it this is definitely favorable hope uh an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forth spirit is confirming that if you take the leap if you have faith that it will work out you're going to see progress pretty quickly okay so let's see what else spirit has to give you all right, let's see what Spirit says. We're going to throw two more cards from the Unicorn Oracle. And we're going to see. All right, the first card out is Delight. Look at that, Delight. Group number two, count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Beautiful. Um, so, you know, it, now for, for some of you, I'm getting the feeling that this attachment, this, this um, way of thinking, this darkness that I'm seeing here, it doesn't only have to be about addiction or it doesn't only have to be about things that, that'll, that'll keep you down, that'll keep you kind of, you know, ensnared in the trap. Um, really, it, it comes down, it comes down to, to not enjoying yourself, not delighting in the joy of life, not, not partaking in the beauty of life and not feeling complete, not feeling whole. So take pleasure in simple things is the message here and always expect the best. Get rid of that negative thinking, that nihilistic thinking, oh, things are going to go wrong. Nothing will work out in my favor. I can't do it. Get rid of that thinking. It's not serving you anymore. It's not helping you. It's only going to hinder you. 
And then the second card out is balance. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. <laughs> that makes so much sense. And the fact is that this reading had, had, had I, I, I believe this reading was for multiple people. So there's different messages here for the people that are like attached into this reality. What can happen if you can just release yourself from it? And this card kind of speaks to both sides. So it's telling you to indulge a little more or less. So for this side, the people that are under this, this telling you less. For the people that are just, you know, enthused about this new business opportunity, enthused about a new job opportunity, enthused about a new promotion, keep doing that. Keep putting forth maximum effort in this endeavor. You will see success balance will come to you all right so that is all i see here group number two this was a very fun reading i want to thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell i have many more pick a card videos coming very soon don't forget to give me a like and visit the etsy shop seekers i have an etsy shop i've worked with hundreds of seekers um, private readings is what I'm offering at below market value. So far, I've got only five star reviews. Make sure to go to the Etsy shop. The link is down below to check out those reviews. The feedback has been tremendous. I have new uh, private reading uh, formats that I think some of you would appreciate. Um, I have, some of you have requested maybe a more inexpensive if it's only for like one question or so. That was a great idea. So I, I went ahead and I, I, I set up a listing uh, for that at, at a good price and um, so yeah you know I want to work with you seekers this is my calling in life connecting with spirit and providing you with the message that spirit has to share through the tarot this is my calling I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one. Uh, give me the opportunity to do just that all right thank you so much visit the Etsy shop don't forget also to uh, leave a comment below I want to hear what you guys have to say uh, I want to know you know what you thought of this reading uh, maybe what ideas you have for the channel, you know, moving forward, what I should do, how I should do it. I really want to hear from you seekers and uh, I want to hear what uh, what you would what you would like from me. And I want to hear what you thought about this reading. So let me know in the comments section below. Thank you once again, group number two. Bye bye. Welcome, group number three. Welcome. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is messages that you a message that you need to hear right now. Uh, so let's see what that message is. We're going to start with the Star Tarot. The first card out is ooh the Prince of Wands. That's interesting. So we're going to need more cards to get a better understanding of what the message is. I'm going to shuffle. And I am going to throw all right. Well, hmm. so group number three, you are being called into action. You're being called into action, group number three. There is the opportunity for success. There's the opportunity for true greatness in some kind of pursuit. This could be career uh, pursuit. This is to maybe even appease someone. This is a relationship. A lot of people pick this stone. There's a lot of different kind of storylines developing here. So... The first one that I'm noticing is there's a relationship here that the woman is feeling a bit upset and it's leading towards problems in the relationship. That is for, for a small portion of you. Um, a lot of it comes from the family. The family of, of this relationship is not helping. They're being a bit negative. Um, so the, the message here for group three is number one. Don't listen to any kind of negativity coming from that family. Uh, focus on your relationship, on you both being happy. Um, you know, there's definitely a sense of someone in the relationship being attacked. Um, don't listen. Don't don't entertain any of this because ultimately it will lead to ruin. So that's number one. Number two, 
there is an energy here of success, truly, with the Prince of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Um, there is an energy of forward moving momentum. There's an energy to correct a wrong. So the fact that you have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, but yet you've got the Ace of Wands upright and the Prince of Wands is one of the main cards, tells me that you are going to be given an opportunity to correct your finances. And um, what you need to do is you need to plan accordingly. So you need to take uh, measured steps towards it. The Two of Wands talks about the person that plans for success and is successful. Um, you're going to be offered this opportunity. This can come from a young man. It can come from a young woman. Um, you're going to be offered an opportunity to maybe partner with them. Um, maybe, you know, for some of you, you're applying for a job. You're going to be hired by you know, a young person and they're going to offer you or just, you know, tell you exactly how things work. Follow their instructions to the T. Um, intuitively, you should be able to kind of pick up on if this is right or wrong uh, and if it aligns with your belief systems and go ahead and pursue it. The fact that you also have here the Ten of Cups reverse kind of standalone, I feel that a, a, some of you that financial problem, those financial hurdles have led to problems in the family and you've had to take on a leadership role in the family. And I feel like that has exhausted you to to some degree. It's like you don't want to continue uh, taking that lead, taking that role of leadership because it's exhausted you. Um, perhaps it's leading you towards the path or a path to perdition that you don't, you didn't expect. Um, maybe too much responsibility, uh, too much uh, worrying about someone else and not enough worrying about you is leading you to ruin. And, and I guess this is more of a, of, a, of a thought process than anything else. You know, for some people, it could be true. You know, you give too much attention to someone and they take, 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 take and they don't give. You know, someone ha you have to be recharged too. Um, so there is an energy here of possibly letting go of toxic family members with the Ten of Cups downright. Um, there's an, there's an energy here of also for some of you, if, um, if you if, if there is family members who are maybe suffering or maybe need your help and you haven't seen in a while and maybe they're asking for help and, and you know that they're good people, they're not narcissistic in any way or or, or hurtful or, or, or damaging and, and they mean well and they need some bit of assistance and help them, spend more time with them, be more present for them. Uh, for the ones that you know you need to cut off, do it immediately because it's, it's a necessity at this point uh, because it's hindering you. It's hindering you. Um, again, Ace of Pentacles reverse could indicate that someone in the family is having a tough time financially. They might have reached out to you. So it's important for you to tap into this Two of Wands energy and plan to maybe help and assist, be of service, um, and just be there. Be be present for them. You know, the Ace of Wands talks about taking charge. The Prince of Wands takes the wand and shows the way. This is the leader. And you're right in the middle of this. You are the leader. Um... I think that you need to focus on, on a young woman. Perhaps there's a young woman in the family, a young girl uh, that needs attention, needs it desperately. Um, her fire has been uh, put out. Um, something has maybe happened or occurred uh, that has got her feeling a bit down and depressed. Maybe you can come in and lift her up. Uh, you have the energy to do it, which is why you are the Prince of Wands. You're kind of being represented here by the Prince of Wands. And you're right on top of this page of wands, as if almost, you know, and you're 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 pulling putting out a hand, right? That hand is kind of like telling this prince of wands that princess of wands that's here, you know, uh, reversed and not seeing anything, being a bit nihilistic and upset and burned out. You're offering that hand to her. You know, it's up to her to take it, but you know, you're being told by spirit to please do that. Take that time. Obviously, I've I've given a lot of different scenarios. I feel that a lot of people pick this group because of all of the different kind of storylines that are developing here. Uh, but please take what resonates. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a general reading. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to throw more cards and I'm going to see, you know, where this energy takes us. Where are we going with this? What What's going to end up happening? What's going to be the resolution? We're going to try and find some keywords that are attached to this problem here. All right, look at that. You've got the two dragons. Wow. Integration, power, pathfinder, strength. So the Avalon cards are talking about 
your personality, your character. You know, you are a strong person. You are a pathfinder, and you operate with power and true sovereignty. Now, the 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 message here is that in your help, in your moment of of heroism, you're going to tap into another another side of you that you never thought you had. There's going to be something that's going to be shown. You're going to show your true power and strength to the world. And no one will be able to deny that you are truly great in everything that you've done. And um, and will do. And then also it's going gonna, it's gonna to add more purpose to you. More serenity. Um, shared blessings. Interconnectedness. So we'll take a look at this. I mean, those are the keywords tied to the Abbey, right? You've got here interconnectedness. Um, you know, sh uh, shared blessings. So the fact that you help whoever you need to help right now, you're going to benefit from this in the future. Again, I feel that it's a young woman who's been burned out, who's been maybe feel he's just been feeling a bit upset, uh, down and out of the count. You know, you have something to offer her, uh, a guiding hand, a path forward, an encouraging word, a, a beautiful word. You, you have the ability to reach down. And for her to grab that wand and move forward, okay? You have that magic. You have that power. And you're being asked to use it. And um, it's going to give you purpose. It's going to give you serenity. It's going to make you feel interconnected. And that is truly special. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some uh, oracle cards. Uh, this is from the Whispering Woods. So let's see what the message here with the Whispering Woods is. Four barons, number one, do not be deterred by the thorn amidst of roses. Wow. All right, so for some of you, you're listening to this and you're like, yeah, that's great, but now nah, there's too many problems. I'm not, not going to do it. So you're being kind of told to overlook the challenges and the, and the issues and the, and the problems and, and, and the thorn amidst the roses. You know, you want that beautiful rose. You have to overcome that darkness and, and those thorns. You know, you might get hurt, but you, you it's an, it's important to to take that leap to help these people to assist in whatever possible way. Um, again, this isn't only for assisting people. This is also for letting go of toxic connections, releasing them from your life and letting go of them completely. So the, the message is really, you know, for various people. So I don't want to forget the, the original message, which is cutting out family members that are hurtful to you, uh, maybe a bit narcissistic, think about themselves too much, not, not enough about other people. Um, you know, you know who they are. These people are not good for you. Uh, there's a strong sense that they're not your friend. Uh, they don't celebrate anything with you. They're waiting for you to just um, do something wrong or fall in order to make fun of you, in order to kind of belittle you, in order to just take advantage of you. So be aware of that energy. Um, and then you have here cleanse. Look at this. Wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades. Wow. So you're being asked from from spirit to go into nature and be recharged you know if you've ever stepped into any kind of like natural preserve or, or maybe even a beach or you go into the water and you just there is an energy of recharge right um you feel it it's like you grab onto a tree uh visualize you know the energy the dark energy is leaving you and, and you feel recharged you feel good you feel afterwards like you can do something different like even if it's just a little change even if it's just a little bit of a mood change it helps it helps with whatever it is that you're going through so watch your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades that is a nice message now i'm going to go ahead and uh, talk a little further about what spirit wants you to know group number three we're going to keep throwing cards here so we're going to throw two more cards from the Unicorn Oracle deck. And we're going to see what spirit wants you to take away from this reading. All right. These are some nice cards. Look at this. So the first one is Intention. Intention, group number three. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe interesting right because we've been talking about cutting off people that don't deserve to be in your presence toxic 
people who are maybe a bit, um, you know, uh, too much. They, they just don't really care. And uh, it's important to let them go. Also, the universe is waiting. So spirit is telling you, hey, I'm here to help you. Just ask for the help. Um, visualize that help coming for you, presenting itself to you, and everything will work out in your favor. And then the second card is dance. Ha <laughs> ha. Dance, dance, dance. Look at that. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. That is beautiful, right? You're being told by spirit to just dance the night away, to have a little more fun, to express yourself, to uh, to be encouraged by the prospect of having fun, right? Moving your body, putting on your favorite tunes, having fun. And it falls right under the cleanse. So there's a process to this, you know, go into the woods, go into the forest, go into nature, cleanse yourself. And then once you're done there, cement the cleansing by dancing and being joyous and being fun and tapping into this energy of fun, fun, fun. All right. That is very special. So group number three, that is what I see here. I want to thank you so much for watching this reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to give me a like. Also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I have many more pick a card videos coming soon for you seekers. So please subscribe. Don't forget to visit the Etsy shop. The link is down below. I've worked with hundreds of seekers and they, the feedback has been great. Only five star reviews that I've gotten. Um, the value that I'm offering these readings are, are below market value. Um, I like it that way. I'm getting a lot of requests and that makes me really happy. I love doing readings for you seekers. It's truly, truly rewarding. Uh, just tapping into just one energy. Um, and, and giving you the message that spirit has for you like that is truly very gifting um, So go to the Etsy shop check out those reviews. You're not going to be disappointed I promise you that I I work really hard. I connect with spirit I I try my very hardest to present to you everything that I'm seeing There's no limit on how many questions you can ask. I don't put a limit on them um, There's only one reading where there is a limit and that's the, the one that's the lowest price. But the other ones don't have limits. You can ask as many questions as you like. So it is definitely a wonderful value. Take advantage. I love doing it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that. I want to hear from you seekers also. Uh, so write below in the comments section anything that you might want me to answer. Maybe any questions about the store. Uh, maybe any questions about... Um, you know, these pick a cards. I want to know what you thought, you know, as well. I want to know um, if you have any pick a card ideas for me. You know, anything that you can share with me, I would really appreciate it. I tend to write back to everyone that comments. Um, so if you leave a comment below, chances are I'm going to write back. Uh, might be in a day or two, but I will. As soon as possible, I will write back. So please do that. Thank you once again, group number three, and bye bye. Welcome, group number four. Welcome. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, group number four, the question here that we're going to try and answer is what message does spirit have for you? So, you know, what what message is meant for to find you? Like, what 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 is the message right now for you? Uh, so, we're going to try and answer that. The very first card that we're going to utilize is from the Star Tarot. Let's see what this card is. Ooh, Ace of Cups. That is a very beautiful card to get. Now, I'm going to need more cards in order to decipher exactly what this is, you know, what the message is. But so far, this seems to be a message filled with love. Let's take a look and see exactly what it is. What do you want to tell group number four, Spirit? So group number four, group number four, 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 what I am seeing here is that there, there appears to be maybe someone who has hurt you, maybe a young man. Um, there's definitely, uh, for some of you, again, take what resonates, but for some of you, there's been this kind of outpouring of emotion where you've, you've felt a bit hurt by this young man. 
Um, this man maybe didn't give you the the love that you were wanting. Instead, they spoke very negatively of you. They spoke or they treated you very bad verbally. They, they kind of took measured uh, action towards your demise. You know, they, they hurt you. They, they hurt you. And, you know, whatever they did, they hurt you. Um, and now you're kind of feeling like, you know, you can't trust again. Maybe you're having a bit of, of anxiety about stepping out into the world, talking to people how you used to. Maybe there's aspects of yourself that you tend to hold back. Um, you've, you've, ch you've changed as a person because of that abuse. Uh, the message here is that this approach will not lead you to where you need to go. So you need it. it you need to change. There needs to be a, a, a change that needs to take place in you. Uh, you have the death card here, and the death card is talking about that change. It's talking about you know your constituents and and the people around you seeing you, acknowledging that you have to move to a more safer space. A more prosperous space so it's important for you to to connect with people that care about you uh, so whoever those people are it's important for you to take measured a measured approach towards being with them uh, having them around you know entertaining them keeping them in your company um, there's a desire for people to help here there's a desire for them to for someone to step out and tell you hey I'm here I'm here for you. I know you're going through a rough time. Um, I'm here and I'm supporting you. So connections are important here. Ace of Cups, perhaps a lot of you, the way that you learn, the way that you heal is through talk therapy. So, you know, if, if you can't go and see an actual therapist, then you can talk to a good friend, you know, uh, just let it out. Let them know exactly what you're feeling, um, how you're hurting, uh, what happened and, and how you can maybe take... And, and, you know, maybe they can give you some advice that will help you. But there has to be an outpouring of emotions. And you have to do it with someone who um, you trust. Someone who you know will always give you an uplifting message. Uh, they're there for you. They want to hear your, your, your truth. They want to hear what you've been through. They, they want to give you good advice. Um, so, you know, this is about letting your ego down. Um, and just talking to someone else talking to someone who can really help you receive that healing from someone there is nothing wrong with that and uh, spirit is, is kind of nudging you in that direction all right so let me go ahead and throw some avalon cards and see kind of where you know this energy is headed um you know once you heal from this once you're able to kind of um go through a process while wow, you've got some powerful avalon cards you've got the dragons uh, this is a path forward. You, you know, you are a pathfinder. There's power. There's strength. There's integration. Um, if, of this, it's going to require for you to heal these wounds. It's going to require for you to take measured action and approach um, in order for you to see success. But you know, you're headed towards something very beautiful. You're headed towards uh, your, I would say, your initiation into something else. You know, a lot of you have an incredible amount of power, um, an incredible amount of dynamism. See, with this card, you have your Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay is very powerful. She's she's a prophetic, um, she's a prophetic magician. She's definitely all about prophecy, intuition, uh, fate. So a lot of you are fated to do great things. You're fated to speak for the downtrodden and the dispossessed. You're fated to do wonderful, marvelous things for humanity. Um, but you yourself need to heal and you need to go through the, pro the process of transformation, the process of healing for yourself before you can reach this place, this place of healing and serenity, this place of, of inspiring others and showing others where they're headed. You know, you are someone who is going to use magic to speak life into other people. Um, and if that excites you, then, you know, it, it only adds to the it only makes it more relevant because it's something inside you, it's like your spirit is clamoring for this, you know, you want to do this, you want to inspire people, you want to give speeches, you want for people to listen to what you have to say, and you want for everyone to be healed at the end of it, everyone to be prosperous, everyone to just be, um, I would say, to leave a changed person. And you, you have that destiny, you are fated to do something like this, but... You know, the fact that you're going through some hard times, it's kind of keeping you down. 
It's not letting you move forward. It's not letting you take the proper actions. I see that there is certainly a sense of um, of, of of inspiration, and there's a sense of, of dynamism. You know, you're a very dynamic person, but you are right now. You you went from the eight of wands, which is forward moving, relentless energy and perseverance and success, to the nine of wands. That's kind of like scared energy i'm not going to really do much i'm not going to take that leap i'm not going to i'm not going to take that bound because you know i might fall on my face i may disappoint people i may disappoint my family i may disappoint everyone so you know what i'm just going to go ahead and stay here i'm going to i'll be okay nothing to worry about uh everything's going to be just fine so there's an energy there that wants that that you're kind of you're kind of keeping yourself down you know you can do a lot more you could be very successful and you will be. there. You have an incredible amount of power and prophecy and magic. These two cards are confirming that. Uh, but you must receive healing from other people, all right, in order to be able to, to give healing. Um, so that is the message that I'm seeing here. Now, I want to see exactly what the Oracle cards tell us. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and throw two cards and what you should be doing right now. All right, the very first card is dance. Allow yourself some fun each day, just as the sun dances with the moon each night. Wow, so some of you are, unfortunately, because of this situation, you're not even allowing yourself to have fun. You know, you're not allowing yourself to be happy. You're not allowing yourself to be renewed every single day. Um, it's important for you to take calculated me measured approach to you yourself your happiness your enjoyment uh, maybe you've given too much or you're giving too much I, I feel that there's another message here you might be giving too much to someone that is just taking and taking and taking using you in a very smart sadistic way and you haven't noticed it you're or you're noticing right now because your energies are depleted if that's the case, which I see that it is for some of you, it's time to take measured approach, all right, and allow yourself uh, the, the 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 time to be happy. If you don't feel happy with someone, that person is zapping you of your energy. That is an energy vampire, and and sometimes you got to take a measured approach to you know get rid of them or see them as little as possible. Which brings us to the next card, <laughs> renew. Renew. Nature continuously renews itself year after year so just like nature renews itself you yourself must re be renewed uh, not year after year but day after day minute after minute um, you know it's important for you to feel that it's it's okay to go through those ups and downs you know life is it's it's light and it's, it's dark you learn from the dark and you enjoy and dance in the light right so it's important because you always need that reflection and that dark night of the soul sometimes comes to illuminate and to show you something that you didn't know before you know and it can be shocking and it can be truly that tower moment where everything kind of comes crumbling down but you know while you're coming down while everything is being destroyed while all of the illusions are being just broken down you're able to see clearly at least for that moment you're able to see clearly you have your life you have your health and once you're able to to get yourself up from that destruction and clean yourself off now you're a new person and you have that insight even though Everything else has been destroyed, it doesn't matter. You have that insight, your eyes are open, you've peeked behind the veil, and you know what's going on. So now you can take a measured and calculated approach towards what's next in your life. Now, I want to throw, um, I got these other little Wicca cards. I want to throw two, just to see what they say. Maybe there's a, an additional message there for you. Let's see, I just feel, I, I didn't do it for group uh, two or three or one, but I want to do it for this one. So here we have breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. Wow. Isn't that something? So we were just talking about this, right? Spirit is confirming it. Letting go of bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, okay? Uh, that person is not being good for your mental health. Um, definitely for some of you, you've already experienced the tyranny of that person. And now maybe you're looping. It's like you're going back and forth thinking about what they did to you, how they did it to you, um, how can they have done that. You know, it's just terrible. Um, you have to forgive, forget. You have to accept that it happened. 
and you have to understand that you come first. Your mental health is first. So the second part of this is safe and happy travel. Protection from harm when journeying. Wow. Look at this. Spirit is telling you that you will be safe. That no matter what happens to you, no matter what approach you decide to take in life, no matter what obstacles, no matter what horrible things you might think might happen, you are protected in every way. You're being asked to step out into the into the light. You're being asked to change completely. You're being asked to approach life more optimistically. You're being asked by spirit to not let yourself kind of dwindle your for don't let your energy be taken don't don't operate under a low frequency that that where you are just in this kind of dark night of the soul expecting for other bad things to happen and and for things to kind of come crumbling down when as soon as you build them up don't have that nihilistic mindset because it will cripple you you have to come out of that you have to accept the fact that bad things have happened accept it you have to break that bad cycle that you keep looping and looping and thinking of the, that bad moment it's kind of kept you in this state of fear and panic and you don't do you don't do much you don't take measured uh risks because of this um you have to let go of that and remember what spirit is telling you protection from harm uh, is yours okay now i want to see what else spirit has to share with you so i'm going to throw two more cards two unicorn cards and i'm going to let spirit spirit speak wow look at that that look at this all right all right all right all right that is interesting so the first card out is strength and look at that this challenge will make you stronger you will get through to the other side look for the gifts in this situation come on right come on you are being told by spirit that everything is going to be fine. You're being told by spirit that, you know, you're being watched, you're being protected. Everything is going to go in your favor. Um, there's things that you're going to learn from this, um, you know, that, that you didn't even see before. Um, there is true strength in this experience that you're going to draw and take from. And you're going to be able to use it in your healing with other people. Then the second card is friendship. Look at that. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Boom. So Spirit just confirmed every single thing that we talked about, right? Seeking out someone. Having that talk therapy. Talking to them directly. Um, letting that pride down because you don't want them to know. You know, there's definitely someone that wants to help you. Let them help you. They're there for that. Okay? So... That is all I see here, group number four. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will be creating many more Pick a Car videos for you soon. Don't forget also to give me a like. And most importantly, visit the Etsy shop, Seekers. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of Seekers. Um, it's truly been fascinating. I've only gotten five-star reviews, and I am so happy for that. You know, the feedback has been great. Um, everyone has, has reached out and, and, and told me I've gotten tips. Thank you for those donations. I mean, it's been great. This journey um, has been great with this Etsy shop, you know, and I want to work with you. I want the opportunity to work with you. My prices are below market value. Uh, they're very fair. You can ask as many questions as you like, and I go into great detail about this. So if you feel that spirit is trying to communicate with you, go ahead and purchase a private reading with me you will not be disappointed i will give that reading my all okay and i will connect with spirit and i will try and help you as best as i can so go to the etsy shop read the reviews place your orders you won't be disappointed uh the link is down below also don't forget to to let me know what you guys thought about this you know i want to know what you secrets thought about this reading if you have any other ideas anything how i can improve uh just Anything, anything that you want to tell me, anything that you want to reveal to me, I'm all ears. Just let me know in the comment section below. I tend to write back to everyone that writes. So if you write, I will write back. That is my promise to you. Um, I want to, to hear what you guys have to say. So please go ahead and, and leave a comment below, Seekers. I want to hear from you. All right. So thank you. Much love from me to you. And bye-bye.